We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to fight to hold support and testing key resistance levels. And in today's volatility, our SPY bot at 1245 p.m. sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, inflows cross the midpoint to the upside, full strength there on 42 vision. And call options went up 200% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, testing key resistance levels. And in today's video, we're gonna break down the key levels I would watch going into tomorrow. But before we do, I wanna share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. The home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run of the day was from our Apple bot. Our Apple bot at 1035 AM sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, Inflows cross the midpoint to the upside, full strength there on 42 vision, and call options went up 100% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots. We look forward to having you join us, and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump to these charts. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, doing a full transition from the dip area to the rip area yesterday and today going from red bars to bright green bars. If this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation, which I'm gonna pull up here and you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index back under a bull indicator here in the second half of the day at 526.50 level, canceling out that bear indicator from the pre-market at 527.30. It was a resistance in the first half. It rejected off of it until it finally broke through it. And now it's pushing away from it, right? So we've had a lot of volatility here in the last two days. It isn't the only stock. You have the QQQ here pushing back up, back under a bull indicator. You have Tesla here sitting sideways under a bear indicator. It needs to get canceled to justify any move to the upside by a possible bull indicator. I'll be watching that. And then you have Apple here under a bull indicator all day, continuing to push up and retest the resistance of 195, right? So all these stocks are trying to hold up. The QQQ and the bull indicator on the SPY are holding this up and canceling those bear indicators, retesting key resistance levels up here, currently sitting up at 529. The recent resistance was 529.20, and that's something to not ignore from yesterday, where it rejected, and now it's trying to come back above. A key resistance based off the history of the chart and where things slowed down back on Friday, May 24th, right? And it tried to push up towards the 531 area before continuing back down towards 520, 519, right? So here we are up near 530, and it's going to be crucial for this bull indicator to hold true. And also on the one hour to continue to cancel this bear indicator, 
with the bull indicator that's popped up here towards the end of the day, right? At 528.39, something to not ignore here, how it's popped up and how it needs to hold, right? We want this bull indicator to not get canceled and inflows to follow to justify the move. And then in the volatility of the 15 minute, we could see here bull indicators dominating most of the day, bull transitions up towards bright green bars, and a strong bull indicator here holding since the 526.67 level. So definitely something to not ignore here. How I used it as support, came back towards it, and sharply went back up in the after hours. Now I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflows and break down the key levels I would watch going into tomorrow. Here we are with the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index, with inflows crossing back above the midpoint and continuing to hold strong here even though they tried to cross in the pre-market right you could see that drop there when the outflow started to dominate but things continued with a staircase effect here with inflows pushing upwards back above and continuing to hold strong in the volatility now it's going to be crucial for these inflows to hold strong and stay above going into tomorrow to justify any further strength to the upside here based off the 30 minute now when we zoom out and look at this from the one hour we could see those inflows crossed over yesterday and they've stayed above all day today and through this volatility all of this was not real weakness right because those outflows never crossed to the downside in the bigger picture and this is what was holding up the direction to the upside and continuing to find support at higher levels and here it is retesting the key resistance up here near 529 and you could see here inflows at highs here of 3.23 i will be watching if it could stay above and continue to the upside now in the volatility of the 15 minute there has been back and forth outflows have tried to dominate even in the middle of the day on that drop from 527 to 525 it found support and inflows have dominated here in the second half now outflows have slightly began while the stock is going upwards, there's a slight divergence here, and it's going to be crucial and critical to watch if these outflows continue to the downside and roll that weakness over into the 30 minute. It could start to reflect that weakness into these charts, pull them down to cross the midpoint, and the first support I'll be watching is 525. Then below that is 523, yesterday's support, and then I'll be watching the 520 area. Now to the upside. It's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to switch from red to green, pull upwards, continue this staircase effect, break through the key resistance up here of 529, roll the strength over into the 30 minute and the one hour, switching it from red to green and pushing all those inflows away from the midpoint to the upside and above 529 if it gets broken through. The next resistance is the 531.50 area and then above that, I'll be watching 533. Those are the key levels to the upside and to the downside. The bone bear indicators are going to be crucial, but these inflow versus outflows are really close to the midpoint. And we could see why the whole stock is holding up and not collapsing because the one hour is back above and green. We want to see these inflows continue upwards on the one hour. And we could see based off the history of the chart, it has room to go higher. It hit 5.7 and even up here 6.7. At one point, currently sitting at 3.3. And also on the 15 minute, even though the 15 minute and 30 minute are above, sitting at 1.22, we want to see those pull up with the one hour, switching from red to green on both of these time frames. And the 30 minute is at 2.79. As always, guys, these are the key levels I'll be watching to the upside and to the downside. The bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial. And the inflow versus outflows, I will be watching them closely here as we're really close to the midpoint and the bigger picture is green and above. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.